Hello everyone, now I have a, a brand new Baofeng UV5RT model which I'm going to do a quick demonstration and a very short review. Now everything you see here is out of the box, you get the instructions manual, you get a little hand strap, a, a dual band antenna, the belt clip, 1800 mAh Baofeng battery with the body of the radio, a desktop drop-in charger, and one of the mains plugs. So what's the main difference with this Baofeng UV5RT? Now we know the UV5R has been around for a couple of years and it's been very successful for the price they are and the build quality and everything else. Now this RT has actually made um, some adjustments to the 5R series and comparing to my 5R A, B, C, D E plus etc. They've got rid of the, the band switch which is the button where historically stand just where my finger is now that's changing between the UHF and the VHF band which was seen as being redundant because you could just dial in any frequency uh, in one of the two bands anyway so you didn't need the band switch. The model number UV5RT and the same layout with buttons on the side and identical to any Baofeng UV5R series on the back. Same on the right, I mean there are some slight changes in design of the side of the radio but again on top you still have the very handy useful flashlights. On the back of the radio it says uh, UV5RT 5 watt 7.4 volt and it's 136 to 174 400 to 520 megahertz. When you turn the radio on, press and hold number three. Frequency mode. You can see it's um, version 297, so it's one of the latest ones. Again, you can check the, the batch number of the radio by press and hold number six while turning the radio on. Okay, again it shows it was um, uh, manufactured or at least was stamped uh, in July 2013, so it's relatively new um, out of the factory. So the display is of the same size as the other Baofeng UV5R radios, so we wonder if there's any other changes apart from the, the band button. Now what I meant by changing the band, now we have 145500, say if you're going on to 433500, on the very old models you have to press the band switch to change the top one from VHF to UHF. Now you can just do it by typing in a number. Say for example. Five, zero, zero. Okay, so it does work between UHF and VHF without having to press that button. Now when you press the menu key, let's see if there's any other difference. I normally check how how many options there are and it's 40 so again it's the very same um, functions with other Baofeng radios again so let's go up from zero to squelch step transmit power power save and voice activation narrow or wide band CTCS and DCS encoding. Voice prompt. Okay, you can change the voice uh, to English, Chinese, or turn it off. Menu. The point is, you get the same software, so if you're familiar with your UV5R series, you shouldn't find the 5RT any different uh, in terms of how you use it. Different people have different opinions with um, the design of the UV5R series. Some of them prefer the more rounded, like the 5RC. Uh, some prefer all plastic body, some prefer with a metallic look. That's why people have gone for the 5RA or the 5RE+. Um, now the 5RT has got um, an all dark plastic front plate. It goes from the top of the radio all the way down to the bottom. And you get the extra screws here to look at what to make it look more robust. And, and if you look on the side of the radio, there's slight design changes. 
again, like I said, all the accessories come with the box is the same as you get with any other bathroom UV5R radios. And again, you know, not as shiny as some of them, but looks quite smart. So thank you for watching. And um, if you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment in this video. Feel free to subscribe if you would like regular updates. And I'll see you next time.